get started. Make a new Android application project and open up the file called activity underscore main.xml in the layout folder. Put a text view and edit text into this layout. Then add six radio button objects. Do these together so that their code in the XML file is grouped together. To properly group the radio buttons, we're going to need to make some changes to the XML file for our layout. Find the set of radio buttons you just added and at the top put this line. At the bottom of your set of radio buttons, add this line. These two tags are all you need to group your radio buttons. So, to recap, your XML file should have items in it in this order. Now we need to tell our radio group how to behave. Add these properties to it. While we're at it, let's also add an ID to it. Finally, let's tell the radio group to list the radio buttons vertically. That's all we need to make our app look the way it should. Feel free to make changes, like adding a hint into the edit text or changing the background. If you have any trouble, compare your code with our layout file or ask us on the discussion forum. In the next lesson, we're going to do the actual coding to make the app work. See you there! Bye, Bye Super Coders! coders.